Hi guys, so one of those things that sort of haunts me is pagination. I found it a little bit tricky. So the problem I have today is that I need to check some things in the database and ordinarily I would just list them all and, and, and this database, this particular table has like 5,600 rows. It's kind of workable in a, in a browser but if I had more data in there, it gets, it gets a bit slow. So I was just thinking, how do I implement like a data table for a large table? Let's pretend it had millions of rows. So yeah, I went down that rabbit hole. I, I, as I usually do, I was just looking at Godoc's results for paginate and I was a, a bit unsatisfied. Well, an, another inspiration I usually use is, is Adminer to sort of navigate the, um, the the table, a large table. They use limit 10 and offset to to go through the to, to the results. And I remember some, somebody saying how offset is bad. I eventually found the link somewhere here. The link, I'll find the link and put it below, sorry. You basically page by ID, you know, like Twitter does and such and such and so forth. So yeah. I I implemented that and instead of like just listing everything, I have it looking like this. I even doing a, a like search. Um and it's much faster this way. And the next records basically uses the ID to find the next amount of records. I think that's that's right for the next query. So um, I'm not sure if it's worth looking at the code. Um, I switched it to use SQLX because of the struct stuff. Uh, yeah, the like wasn't that easy to get working. I ended up having to do something like this. But yeah, guys, I'm I'm quite satisfied. I mean, this is just an internal tool. Okay, it's not for norms out there. Um, but I quite like the performance and utility uh, of this approach to query a database for my own little um, internal apps now. So I thought I'd share with you. So I hope you liked it. Subscribe for more and um, comment below. Thanks for watching. Cheers, guys. Bye.